outlaw biker gang president stands as an almost mythical figure in American pop culture, equal parts unruly rogue and frightening crime lord. But we don't often see one up close and personal. Here's our chance. The mob reporter here with exclusive footage of a police interrogation of the president of a prominent outlaw biker club in the American Northwest. My last video documented the case against a bevy of bikers for the kidnapping and murder of a former member. I promised then to show you the entire post-arrest interrogation of Mark Denklau, the longtime president of the Gypsy Joker Motorcycle Club's Portland chapter. Here it is. Let's watch. Just have a sheet over there. Like, do you need a water or anything? Or, or which, is there any fish? Just sit over there, that's fine. Yeah. Do you need a water or anything? Uh, uh, not really. Okay. Okay. What am I doing here? Oh, okay. We don't know what's going on. All right. Guys, come to this house. Just bring it down here. Okay. This guy Curgis with the Clark County Sheriff's Office. Kevin right. Harper. Which name? Kevin Harper. Kevin? Also with Clark County. What's going on, fellas? Well, um, obviously we're not from Portland. A couple things we need to do before we chat, um, and then we'll we'll explain everything. Um, just so you know, everything here is recorded, right? Okay. Police station, it's always recorded. You understand sure. that? Okay. And because you are in a police station, i got to advise you of your rights. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing you may have seen something like this before in your past. I've heard them. Okay. Them. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and read them to you. Go ahead. All right. Uh, before you are asked any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before we ask you any questions and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford a lawyer, the court will appoint one before any questioning. Okay? I have read each of the above rights and understand them. Is that correct? Sir? Yep. All right. If I can have you sign right there, please. Oh, and uh, you know what? I almost think you're supposed to print one, but I'm not sure. It's not a form I'm familiar with. This yeah, one. I thought they had, I've never had anybody have me fill them out before they just read them to you. Yeah, that's what I'm used to also. Who we say today was the 27th? It is the 27th. Can I have you print your name there on that line? Sure. Because I think I messed it up. I I have, you're supposed to print one and sign the other. Thank you, sir. It's okay if I call you Mark? Sure. All right. You're sure Jeff's American Plaza is where you work? No, that's where I hang out. <laughs> I don't really work there. I hang out there. Where do you work at? I don't have a job. I work on bikes. I do bikes for anybody who's willing to pay me. I've been done for years. Very good. Hard as a mechanic. Where's the last place you worked at? Van Nuys, Harley Davidson. Is that in Portland? No, it's in Van Nuys, California. Oh, Van Nuys, California. Um, you're you're with a, a motorcycle club. You have some affiliation with one. Is that right? I don't have any answers for the for questions like that. Okay. Well, the reason I'm asking is that uh, a few months back, uh, a gentleman named Jeff Sudan. You know him? He threw your name out in conjunction with a, kind of a, a repossession of a car, a collection of a car. Does that sound familiar to you? 
No. Jeff Sedan almost might. I'm not sure about that. It seems like Sedan rings a bell somewhere, but no collections of a car. No, I don't know what you're okay. talking about. But where do you live, sir? Uh, down by Salem. Okay. What, what's your address? Um, you answer, it's on my driver's license. It's one I don't have your driver's one license. One you guys have my full Is actually the address. Oh, okay. So right down by Salem. Okay. And you're living with a gal down there, is that right? No. I kicked her out. Oh, She good. comes and stays... She stays, but she can only stay for three days at a time. She's kind of a transient. Huh, okay. She's all, she's, I took her off the lease, and my, my, uh, the people that I rent the house from said mm -hmm. she can only stay for three days at a time. So okay. if somebody looks at my house, they'll see all her stuff in the bags and stuff all piled there on the floor. It's when did you kick her out? <laughs> Which time? I kicked her out a lot of times. Numerous times? Yeah, she just calls me, and she's with no place to go and stuff, and get tugs on the heartstrings, and I pick her up, and... Let her stay for a little while again. It's just, it's, kind of, it's a love hate thing. Okay. Long so, how long did she stay there before the in and out? Started? Um, she was there from the time I moved in until, well, I mean, not steady. She's never been steady there. She's always gets kicked out or moves out and goes and stays with somebody else for a while. Mm -hmm. She just kind of transients around. And who's, what's her name? Nicole. Nicole. Nicole, what's her last name? Um, her married name is, uh, I think. Yeah, you know, she's spells. Okay. How old is Nicole? She's 36. Does she have any other last name she goes by? Um, not, I don't think so. Okay. She's 36. I can't remember what her maiden one was. Yeah, I think she's 36, okay. 35 or 36. And when she's not with you, where does she stay at? <laughs> other guys, uh, sometimes her mom's. Play, you know, where does her mom stay? Uh... Staten. Staten. I'm not quite sure where Staten is. I'm by Almsville. I'll buy Give me a bigger city. <laughs> uh, now, there isn't really anything out there. Detroit Lake. Oh, okay. I know where that, that is. All right. Okay. So, this last time, how long is she? So, been? there's my background. That's it on Nicole. What else you want to know? Okay. Is Nicole the, the problem here? I mean, uh, I know that she's had the cops over a few times. Okay. And, and uh, she's had problems with the hospital and her her... her her Tell me about the hospital. Well, if you don't yeah. know about it, then that's not what you're talking to okay. me about. You know what Do you know what I'm talking yeah, about? Is that what you. this is about? No. Is it about the other night? It does involve Nicole. So okay. I don't know what the hospital thing is, so if that's not part of Nicole's issues, then... Uh, okay. So, Nicole had a... Uh, uh, it, well... Let me back up a little bit. How long have you been in a relationship? Off I'm not going to answer any more questions about Nicole. Okay. I don't have any more answers for you until I find out what you're talking about. Okay. Well, I'm I'm trying you to guys brought me in. I didn't bring you in. I want to hear what you got to talk about. Well, I'm trying to get to that, but part of that's going to involve how long you've known Nicole. Well, that's, you're going to, if, you, if you don't want to tell me what the heck I'm doing here, say so. Because I'm not going to sit here and give you a bunch of my background mm -hmm. so you can play whatever kind of game you're playing. This is kind of stupid, man. I just okay. got picked up. And, and treated pretty roughly. You can still see the the uh, marks on my hands. This one was completely asleep all the way here, mm -hmm. and thrown in a room, a complete silent room there. I want to know what the heck's going on, man. Okay. Did you know Nicole back in October? October of this year? L uh, last year. Uh, 2015. Oh. Well, yeah. Okay. You guys were living together off and on. I and told you I'm not going to answer any more okay. questions about Nicole until I find out what this okay. is about. Is this a domestic thing? And if so, why am I doing? What am I doing in Portland? Well, it, it's it's kind of a domestic thing. Uh, Nicole uh, took off in a car that she may have uh, uh, had, I don't know, had purchased with assets that belonged to you, something like that. And oh. then Jeff Sudan and a couple other guys kind of returned that car to you. Does that make sense to you? Is that or attempted to? Or attempted oh, no. to? Hell okay. no. Okay. You guys are so... Why would, so why would they throw... Well, I'm not going to answer your questions, okay. but because... Of, but without a lawyer anyway, but just because I don't like the reaction. But you guys are way off, man. Okay. You guys don't know... I, mean, I don't know who's telling these okay. stories. And I'm not sure who Jeff Sudan is, but I can tell you right now, nobody's ever returned a car to me okay. from anybody ever in my life. So if we got the story wrong, can you help us out with that? Well, what I'm not going to straighten your story out. No, I'm not. Okay. Not until I find out why I'm sitting here. Okay. I don't understand... 
This is about Nicole stealing a car and so No, not stealing necessarily. But well, why are you playing games? Tell me what I'm you're talking about. I'm not trying to play games, but okay. it, I'm trying to get it at the, the root of what caused this whole thing. Like I said, this gentleman's. I'm looking for the crime, is what I'm looking for. What fucking car are you talking about, man? I think it was an Acura. Is that something? Okay, well, well, what about it? Okay. She took off in an Acura. No. No? No. Okay. You're wrong. I, I'm not going okay. to tell you the story because it's a personal story and there's no crime that I'm going to... Okay. I'm not going to press charges about anything. Okay. And I would be the only... And the story that you're talking about, there's only one person in the world that could press any charges about it and that'd be me. Okay. And I'm not ch- pressing any charges on All her. Right. And nobody returned any car and she never took any car from anywhere. So you got the story completely wrong first. Okay. So before you come talk to me about those kind of stories, you should get them right. Okay. Get them straight, man. How would I get them right without chatting with you? Well, because I'm not here to for to give you information. That's not my. That's not what I'm about. I'm not a cop. I'm not going to sit here and feed you information. I don't know. What, I'm here for some reason. I don't know what your mm-hmm. deal is, but you haven't explained that to me yet. Until then, I got no more answers for you about Nicole or cars or anything else. Uh, I don't even know what. What the hell? It, mm-hmm. Why wouldn't if, if if it's had to do with if this has to do with that car? Why in the heck am I not the one pressing the charges? <laughs> I didn't do anything wrong. Okay, well, I see your point. Yeah, well, that's a pretty good point. Yeah, yeah. Okay. How far back do you want to? Let's go back. So you, so you don't know Jeff? You said you don't know Jeff. Don't Sudan. know Jeff Sudan, though. No. Would, would you maybe recognize a picture of him? Well, that would be, you know what? Anybody that you're going to show me, you'd have a lot better chance to show me a picture than getting Fair me. Because I do not know people's names. Okay. That look familiar to you, sir? Oh, yeah. Okay. What, what do you know that guy by? I, I'm not going to answer your questions. I told you. I'll, I'll listen to what you have to say, okay. and I'll pick what I want to answer, but I'm not going to tell you information about people I know. Okay. I'm not a cop. Okay. Well, that's a picture gonna... of Jeff Sudan. Oh, okay. I did not know that was that guy's name. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Now I'm starting to put it together. Okay. Okay. Now I kind of know. Would, would you tell me how do you know that man? Or no, no. Like? I'm not going to tell. I'm not going to give that information. But uh, I kind of know what we're talking about here. But okay. I thought that those charges were dropped on him and stuff like that. Okay. Well, he was with another gentleman too, right? Um, when this thing happened, yeah. that's what I heard. I, w- I wasn't there. No, I know you weren't there. Oh, okay. But, I, but you know some of the background. Uh, well, I might know some of the background, but I'm like I said, I'm not here to try to answer your questions. You're going to have to get the answers. Why can't you? All these answers you should be able to get from that guy. I don't know him very can. well, by the way. But I don't know him very well, but I know, okay. I know exactly who he is. And, uh, but I don't have the answers for you as far as that stuff goes. Okay. You know I mean? Well, a few months before this car thing happened, um, Nicole was at your house, and uh, somebody busted in the house and uh, roughed her up a little bit, tied her up. You remember oh, that? I mean, you know, I can't really answer to that. You're going to have to take, get that story from her. Okay. You know what I mean? Because I'm not going to answer to that. Because, But uh, I can tell you again, once again, mm-hmm. and you're going to find out that you are completely wrong. Okay. So she, that didn't happen? What's that? I'm not going to go there. I'm gonna let, let well, you're saying we're wrong. wrong. You're, you're got, you wrong got the story about? all wrong. Okay. You got the story all wrong. Okay. And uh, well, if we'll you ask to... around about Nicole, you're probably going to find that, that you got a whole bunch of stories wrong, man. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not going to sit here and slam on Nicole, and I'm not going to sit here and tell Fair stories enough. about her or anybody else. Would you tell me what we got wrong about the... Uh, that, that, that never happened. happened. That not, that's not... That's not what happened. I'll okay. tell you that. I'll say that is not what happened. Okay. Nobody actually came to the house. Okay. All right. what, what did happen? Then? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. I'm not going to let her tell you. I'm not Mr. Rat who's going to sit here and tell on the, tell Nicole's life story to anybody. Okay. You know what I mean? She, if she wants to tell you mm-hmm. that what happened, she will. And uh, believe and she, anything about what you took, the car and the whole thing you're talking about, uh, ask her. Ask her. It's not my story. It's hers. Okay. Who did you tell about what did happen then? Oh, God. Tons of people, man. Okay. You give me some examples. No. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm not going to sit here and name names for you, man. Mm-hmm. If you think I am, you're just barking up the wrong tree. Okay. You That's really are. But but I'll tell you what. What mm-hmm. uh, I don't really understand why this stuff that you're talking about with this dude and the mm-hmm. car stuff. Why would that get handcuffs put on me? Well, why would those handcuffs go on me? 
What did I, what, what did I do that was illegal in any of that stuff? What did I even have to do with it? I wasn't even there for any of it. None of it. Okay. Not anything that you've talked about so far. I was a long way away from it. Mm-hmm. So why would I get handcuffs put around my fucking wrist for it? Well, where were you when that happened? Then? What, man, I know where, where, where you're talking about. I wasn't there involved in anything that, that happened when, if there was a story made up about mm-hmm. this theft thing or whatever. Mm-hmm. If, that, if, if that's the story that you're talking about. And the car thing about the whole fucking car deal. Mm-hmm. I wasn't there. I wasn't involved in it. Okay. You know what I mean? I know. And I'm not going to tell you the story about it. You can get that from other people who well, like to tell stories. Some of it we have. I'm not going to. So back in the middle of June, do you recall getting called by a FedEx guy from your house? Yes. I, I know about the FedEx guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, sure. so tell me about that. Man, I shouldn't even fucking. You know, I'm not trying to. Uh, I, I'm not, not going to try to do anything that's going to get Nicole in any kind of trouble, man. Because I'm not here to try to get her in trouble, all right? Mm-hmm. If that's what this is all about. And I don't under, really understand, but I'll tell you one thing. <laughs> you know what? If you want to hear this story from me, you get Nicole here too. Okay. Both of us in the same room. It doesn't work that way. Yeah. Well, no, that's the no, only no, way. That, that, that's not going to happen. Because I'm not going to tell behind her back. what this. I'd love to tell you, to tell you the truth, but I don't want to do it behind her back. It's against my personal rules. I'm not going to sit here and talk to cops about anybody behind their back. But I would like to have her here so me and her can... So we can well, I'm, all, I'm a little bit tell, confused too. Look, Nicole, tell them this and tell them that. I would do that in front of her to try to get this straightened out. Because I don't... You guys are just... got The story so, the story is so fucked up. And if you really knew what the deal was... Well, like I said, if you really knew what the deal was, you might... I don't know if you'd arrest Nicole or not, but I'm not going to get her arrested. You know, I don't... They were, I'm not pressing no charges on her for anything that happened then. If that's what's so the Mark, I, I guess I'm a little bit confused because when when Nicole, you're saying it's a story. We have when Nicole says that she's basically there's a robbery at your house and there's an incident. The FedEx guy calls you, lets you know this story. What she? Why would she be in trouble? Why, you're saying you don't want to get her in trouble. Why would she be in trouble for that? That's what I'm, I'm missing. Because she deep. I'm a, okay. I, all right, man. Oh, you know, I, I wish Nicole was here. I feel like a piece of shit for even talking shit behind her back. Nicole set the whole fucking thing up. That was her and her friend. They fucking zip tied her. They knew the, UP, the fucking guy was coming. Which that was a setup. She robbed me. She even brought the stuff that was robbed. She brought a bunch of it back. Man, that's her and her friends. I've been, if you want to know the fucking truth, I've been robbed by the girl so many fucking times you couldn't even count it. Really? And this, and, and that, that whole robbery right there, that stuff, that, with everything she stole from me then that she couldn't, she brought back everything she couldn't sell on, offer up, her and her fucking junkie friends. And that's what fucking happened there, man. It was a, it was a total, Lie. I know it was. I know it was for fact. She, like I said, her elf held her mom knows. She told her mom what all fucking kind of stuff was stolen in this big robbery. And then her mom comes over when when, when I was throwing her out, and her mom starts looking at all the stuff and goes, "Oh shit, here's something. Here's something. This was stolen. This was stolen. All the stuff that half the stuff she told her, anything she couldn't, her and her friends couldn't sell on the fucking uh, offer up. She brought back after she wanted to be back with me and stuff. What items did she take or try? Well, you know, I'm not going to sit here and lay out a big old thing for you. Ask her if you, you know, if you can get the truth out of her. Ask her. You know what I mean? But uh, I'm not going to be your storyteller. You know, all I can tell you is, is you're barking up the wrong tree, and I don't even know what the fuck it has to do with you guys. When I'm not, if I'm not mad about the shit. If I forgave her for the everything that you're talking about, I know about the car. You got the story, the car story, completely fucking wrong too. Okay. You know what I mean? But and, but she was an asshole in that story, and I for, I can't say I forgave her for it, but I sure as hell didn't press, didn't go press no charges on her, and I was told to at the time. I was told by a lawyer to press charges on her, and I told the lawyer, I said, man, all my life I've been people telling people don't use the cops to handle your business. So is this my price? Is this where I go? You know, go against my judgment and, and go have a you know have her fucking arrested or something like that to get my shit back. In any case, it's my own personal problems. I chose to live with them. Mm-hmm. I lost a lot because of the girl. You know what I mean? And but I'm not pressing the charges, so I don't see why you guys care. Okay. Who's her junkie friends that were helping her? With? I'm not going to tell you names of people. You didn't hear me the first time. I'm not sitting here naming people for you. All I'm doing is telling you 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 got your stories really screwed up, and I don't even know why you care. Because yeah. I sure as hell ain't, ain't going to press no charges on her. I'm telling you that. 
So, you know, if you got, if it's a bump, Nicole, and why, and why would I get handcuffed up and brought in like that if you guys are mad because Nicole went and bought a fucking car with my money or whatever the fuck might happen? All right. Is Bagger Bob part of that? Part of her junkie friends? Bagger Bob? Yeah. That ring of bells? you're talking. Yeah, I know who that is. He's okay. fucking the guy that got killed about a fucking year and a half ago. Okay. Yeah. Was yeah. he one of the ones who set this up with Nicole? Man, you know, you're going to have to, if you're trying to, trying to like, tie that into this or something like that, you're going to have to talk to Nicole about that. Okay. Well, I was yeah. asking you, because well, you, you said it was her junkie friends, and I, I assumed that meant you knew who um, the junkie no, friends were. No, 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 not the kind of junkie that I heard he was. She's not that kind of a junkie. Okay. Can you help? What, what kind of junkie is he? I, I, I don't know. You, I'm, I'm sure you probably know better than I do. <clears throat> so, when you say her junkie friends... Yeah, I'm not talking about any of our ex fucking club brothers or anything like that. No. Okay. All right. I'm talking about her friends, not my friends. Got it. Okay. okay. So was Bagger Bob one of your friends, not hers? Yeah. Well, you know, like like I said, you know, actually, hey, if now that fucking you're starting to bring his name into it, and he got killed, now I don't think I have any other questions to answer for you. Now I think having a lawyer here might be a good idea. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I think that'd be a good idea if you're starting to ask questions about a dead guy. Okay. Well, let, let, <laughs> yeah. me, let me clarify something with you. Okay. Uh, do you want us to keep chatting, or do you want to talk to a lawyer? I need to know that. Um, well, it, we can keep if, chatting, if you, but you, have to, to if you want to tell me what I'm doing here and what reason, I may be able, I may try to help you out with that, but it's going to keep me in the dark, but then i got nothing else to say either. Okay. So I, I still need to clarify with you that, that one point, because you mentioned – you know, a lawyer, and I need to know if, if you want a lawyer now or if we can keep chatting. This is what you I You can know. keep chatting. I'll keep listening a little longer before I before I call in a lawyer. Yeah. Okay. When uh, uh, the FedEx guy called you, uh, you came down to the house with a friend. Yeah. Oh, you went you went to your house by yourself? Or? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. What did the FedEx guy tell you? Um, he said, "Fucking." Uh, you know, I'm not going to get into the story. I'm not going to get into the story. I'm not going to talk. I'm not going to talk about it. That's Nicole. Nicole's going to have to tell you that story if you want to hear something from her. If you got her all involved in this. Well, thing, Mark, let me say her. this. We have story. You're saying their stories. So whether they're true or not, that's what we're trying to find out. Okay? Right. 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 That's, what, that's our job. Okay. You realize that, right? Sure. And as cops. So if there's incidents happen, we got to figure out what's true and what's not. Okay. And we do that by talking with people. Okay. okay. Obviously, that happened a while ago, so we've been working on this for a while, months. Okay. Okay. That story starts a much larger story that we have, right, starts okay. with at your house with a theft happening that includes Nicole being there, Okay. And a Fed, there's a FedEx guy calls you, right? Right. Right. So this is where everything. I wish, no, that's no, why no, I wish she was here, right? So she could straighten some of this. Sh so this has been going on for a while, and you and you keep telling us to talk to Nicole, talk to Nicole, get the story from her. Well, you know, if that's if she's the one that's involved in the story, you need to talk to the players. Right. I'm not telling you to talk to her. I understand. I'm telling you to talk to whatever players you're talking about in your little in your story there. You talk to them, and whoever you said rides, rode there with me or whatever, talk to them. So over, but you guys have kind of also. So over the last course. several months, well over half a year, we have talked to a lot of people. Okay. Okay. And we can tell you right now, Nicole's in front of a grand jury. Okay. Okay. There is, you say talk to her. We have. There is a. There's a story there. Oh, okay. I didn't know okay. that. So, okay. so I'm just letting you know that. So we have a story. So we want to get your side of it. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, okay. So okay. we know what's true and what's not true. All right. So are we going to tell you everything that we know? Of course not. Okay. I don't think you would expect that. All right. Well, what I do expect is for you to tell me where I fit in. What is my crime in these stories that you're talking about? What, what, what's my crime? Why the fuck did I get handcuffs put on me? I mean, I can hear you guys wanting to talk about this and that, wanting to get stories straight, but why am I getting treated like this? Why am I not? Why didn't you call me up and ask me to come in and talk? Why did you come and have me? Would you have come and chatted with us? I would have came in. I, I definitely would have came in, mm -hmm. but I probably wouldn't have talked to you. Okay. And I'm not really talking to you now. 
I really don't have any answers for your stories. I'm not going to straighten your stories out for you and stuff. Especially not if, unless I find out what the hell my part of it is. I'm interested in my own self, you know what I mean? And what do you mean Nicole's in front of a grand jury? What are you talking about? Like right now she's sitting in front of a grand jury? That, that's right. Oh, wow. So, well, you know, is my you dog safe? No, your dog is safe. <laughs> okay, 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 good, good, good. Excellent. That's very important to me. Okay. So now what? So, well, I, I'm not, am I arrested for anything? Uh, you're being detained at this point. Okay, but I'm not under arrest quite yet. That's correct. Okay, then I don't need a lawyer quite yet. Okay. So um, she is indicated that that uh, certain things took place after this robbery, theft, whatever it was, the one where the FedEx guy came to the house and. Uh, I think he wanted to call the police, and she said, no, please call Mark. And I think yeah. that's, is that right? I'm not going to say whether that's right now. But is that your understanding? I'm listening to your story. Okay. And uh, the, from there, the, the series of events unfolded um, involving one of your club brothers, or former club brothers. Okay? Okay. And uh, that's, that's where some of this comes about. And, yeah. and it's, it's you know, up to you to clarify for this what... Yeah, what all took place? Because there's fingers. Man, you know what? The story that you're talking about is somebody else's story. Okay. But you're going to have to talk to somebody else. Who do you suggest we chat with? I'm not throwing names. I told you. It's somebody else's story. You're the cop. Figure it out. Mm -hmm. Talk to somebody else. It's not my story. I'm not. I'm not. I think you know that we've got it pretty well figured out. The question is, you're in a bit of a hole. We're trying to offer you a ladder to get out of this hole. Man, okay. Because here, so here we've got confused. here we've got Nicole sitting in front of a grand jury right now, and she's te testifying to them. Okay. okay. We know what she's going to tell them. Okay. We presume. Um, that's not an issue. We have other people we've talked to, and I think you know who most of those people are. I well, you think wrong, but anyway, okay. Okay. You're. Uh, There's uh, several others, either now or shortly, are sitting in rooms like you are. Okay. Time, so. Okay. But what so what? <laughs> Tell me something that means something to me. Oh, None of this means much to me so far. And and Nicole, man, uh, you know, she's got real problems, you know, and her problem is she's sitting in front of a grand jury right now. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure her problems are going to probably unfold in front of them. So, uh, so in any case, whatever, man. Talk to me about that later after she gets out of the grand jury. You've got, you're, you'll see what I'm saying. Nicole's got some serious problems, and she's got some serious lying problems. And if all her lies blow up in her face today, well, it's about time. Maybe that will help her out a little bit. Maybe this whole experience will help her quit making up bullshit and telling lies. So, so anyway, that's enough about Nicole for me. You got, you got her in front of a giant grand jury. You got all the story you need from her. Uh, now, what else would you like from me? Well, it, it, I guess that depends on what you're willing to talk to us about. You don't want to give us names, so I'm not sure how we can talk about the folks that uh, well, you think we should go talk to. I don't think you should go talk to anybody. I don't care what you do, man. I really do not care what you do. You're not telling what am I doing sitting here? You haven't even told me that yet. Why am I here? Because, some, because of things that happened to me? I'm here because of stuff that happened to me. What yes, happened to you? <laughs> what happened to you? You guys are sitting here telling the stories. <laughs> You're telling the stories. We haven't said anything happened to you. What happened to you? Well, you said I was the one that showed up with somebody else in a car or something like that when the FedEx man called and stuff. You're telling me the story. Wouldn't that be something I happened just, to me? I thought you meant like you committed a crime. Or something. <laughs> or crime, or crime, you are a cop to the bone. Or a crime to you. <laughs> You're a cop to the bone. That's funny, man. Yeah, yeah. I act, I'm acting like I commi committed a crime. No, I, I, think, are, I think you misunderstood me, Mark. Well, I think that you, you said something happened to me. A crime. Check it out. I think that you guys have your stories really screwed up, really confused. Okay. And I think that you're going to find that out. You're going to find, I, I believe, if, if they well, got Nicole, help us help you. If anybody's help got, you with that. Nicole, can, if anybody's got Nicole better, you should go maybe watch that little deal and see what you got in front of you there. Well, help us and maybe the you'll figure out what, what kind of bullshitter you've got and, and junkie you've got in front of you. And fucking, uh, in, and in the end, then come tell me you got some, that I did something. You know, I don't even know what you're, you haven't told me that I did anything wrong yet. Do you, expect, do you suspect me of something? Well, help us get this uncomfortable. Because if Will you suspect me of doing a crime, let me know so I can get a lawyer. You know what I mean? Okay. Don't, I, well, I don't think we've accused you of committing no, a crime. No, you haven't. Have and that's why okay. I'm still looking at these marks on my wrists and going, man, what a way to treat somebody who's not suspected of doing a crime. Okay. You know? So help us get this thing unconfused. Because you're saying, go talk to people, but we don't okay. know who to talk to. Here you go. Okay. All right, man. I'm going to help you get it unconfused. All right. All right.
if you think that I did something wrong, anything, okay, any kind of crime, let me get my lawyer over here, and I will tell my lawyer, you know what? Give these guys a lie detector test. Just take a lie detector test. Don't make these cops suspect the wrong people. So if you think guys think I did anything wrong, hit me with a lie detector test or something. I've got nothing to fucking hide. i got nothing to hide, and i just got nothing to say. It's against my fucking nature to sit here and talk to cops. Now, I told you more than I probably wish I would have already, okay? Just, I should have even told you my name. You know what I mean? You got my name. You don't, you're playing games. You don't need to know my name. You knew my name before you brought me in here. In any case, if you think I did something, you know, and, and you really do, if you really think I did something wrong, then you guys maybe maybe think about giving me a lie detector test and see them. Lay it out. Lay what you think I did out on a lie detector test. I, I just want a lawyer there just to make sure that I'm doing the right thing or whatever. But uh, I'm willing to do that just so you guys don't bark up the wrong tree. But I'm not willing to sit here and tell you stories like some piece of shit rat. Okay? You got your world, I got mine. Mm -hmm. In my world, rats are pieces of shit. I'm not going to sit here telling on Nicole. I'm not going to sit here telling on anybody. I'm not going to sit here telling on anybody for anything. So you said Nicole has has issues that are probably going to come out when she testifies. Will you oh, I think they'll probably be, if she's right. in front of a grand jury, they're probably looking at issues right now. So one of those or, issues that, that we would have to She's a be terrible with. liar. She's a terrible, terrible liar. Was so she used her last night? Uh, no, she had, no, she's been off. She's been off now for days, and so she's she? she's pretty hurting right now. She's yeah. jonesing for it. What, what's oh, she used she's, mostly? Um, she's addicted to pain pills. Completely, completely okay. addicted to pain pills. She used anything besides a pain pill? No. She shooting anything? Oh, no, no. no okay. Nothing like that. Nothing okay. Like We're talking like oxys or something like that? I'm not, you know, but you have to get that from her. Everybody knows it. I mean, the fucking hospitals know it and stuff. The police know it. Everybody knows it out that way. So I'm not telling you nothing that isn't pretty much. Okay. But right now, I can't say she's addicted because she hasn't taken them for quite a, for quite, a, quite some time now. Okay. As, as far as I know. Unless okay. she sneaks them. She's not real, real truthful to me either, so. Okay. Is that what's driving? Is it, is, let me ask. Let me, before, Not let me questions finish, about Nicole. You, you can get let them all from her. You've got her in front of the grand let, jury. Let, ask her herself. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe okay. I'm wrong. Too. Maybe, Maybe I'm wrong. Let me ask she you, might have lied to me about having pills. <laughs> can I ask you one question about, about yes. that? Okay. Um, she set up, you, you're saying she set up this step thing back in uh, I'm saying ask her about the, you know, you've got the you've got the story from her okay. I'm saying I'm saying I'm not saying nothing I don't even know okay. he hasn't asked the question yet yeah so let me finish the question well, well I said I, mean, I didn't give an answer I said I'm not saying nothing that answers oh. most questions right there uh, I really almost does it. doesn't it <laughs> yeah, yeah it does so, so yeah. But let me finish my question okay. before you refuse to answer okay okay no <laughs> the question that I was going to pose to you and it's more of a gut feeling question uh do you think that she set up this theft thing with the FedEx guy called you? You said her, she and her junkie friends had to do with that because of her pill issues. I believe that Nicole has lied to me about over half the things she's told me since I've known her. Okay. That's what I believe. I believe, and well, that's why I catch her in lies all the all the stinking time. So why are you still with her? I don't want to even. I don't know, man. Because she's so down and out. I mean. When I try to make her leave, she literally stands in parking lots. And she literally sta stood in the parking lot all night long. And, and the next day when I got out of Kaiser over there, at Kaiser, and she, she acted like a homeless and tried to talk people into letting her charge her phone and stuff. And the next day when I got off work, when I hoped she went to her mom's or something, I call her and, and she says she's still standing in that same parking lot I dropped her off in. And my heart just sinks, you know, and I go over there and she's laying on the ground crying and stuff. And I finally just... Okay, baby, come on. But she knows. I, I, I'm sure she. Uh, well, at least one thing about it: the way we're, anything, any bads that she has on me, I'm sure she's more than willing to tell you right now. So that's okay. So any kind of bad she has on me, go ahead, go get it from her because she's hating on me right now because I've been telling her that it's done and she really needs to find another place to stay. But I, it's hard for me to really throw my friends, a friend, out like that. So the friendship part of it makes me let her keep it on staying there, even though she. Uh, does me wrong. I'm just going to leave it at that. She does me wrong a whole lot, and she has done me a whole lot of wrong. And it's kind of a yo-yo thing. Yeah, you keep really taking good. her back, giving her another chance, and yeah, yeah. How long has that been going on? I'm talking years. Three years. Three yeah. years. About three years. She's really been since I really started realizing that she what she was doing mm -hmm. to to me, that, and that she's said so she's a thief. You know, I mean, straight up. And, and I'll tell her that she knows that. I tell her every time. She knows it all the time. Mm -hmm. And, but uh, 
I think it's her addiction, you know, that causes her to be, to steal. Have you ever seen her? And make plans and do all this stuff she's done. I don't believe any of it. I don't believe anything she says. I can't say, you know, I don't know this and know that. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm only speculating here. Sure. But I think that anything that comes out of Nikki's mouth is a lie myself. Okay. And uh, so she knows I've never believed a whole lot of things, you know what I mean? Have you ever seen her for a stretch of time where she was actually clean? I, well, I ask her that, too. I, there was a stretch of time when I thought she was, mm-hmm. but then I find out that she wasn't, you know what I mean? Okay. I was wrong, you know what I mean? So I don't know much about addictions and stuff. I don't have any, any that kind of, I smoke pot. Mm-hmm. That's the only, uh, and I don't think I'm addic- addicted to that. It's legal in Washington. So. Well, I know. Yeah. Well, I, I don't think I have it. I, so I don't have any addictions, right. you know what I mean? So I really don't know that much about them. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think she might have been not clean when she was saying she was, too, I, I think. Okay. You know? So I don't know if I've ever seen her. You didn't know if her um, behaviors actually changed when during that period you thought she was oh, playing. She, or she, she was withdraws and stuff. She she literally does it. You know, her feet shaking, rolling around, sweating, the whole deal. You know. Sure. I mean? That should only last about a week if she don't. Is that right? right? Well, I'm guessing. I, I, don't, know. I don't know much about nothing. Most about of the pill poppers tell me that it takes seven to ten days or so. Well, I wondered. Out. I get different stories. I have her on the internet checking it out all the time, trying to figure herself out. Right. But anyway, so that's it there. And like I said. Get, go check Nicole out and see what kind of stories she's telling today. Okay. It'd, it'd be interesting to me, too, <laughs> to hear what she has to say. No. So she sure which stories she's going to go with today. Okay. Well, and that's one of the reasons we wanted to ask you. At least you've got feeling on it. So that period last summer, she was hitting it pretty hard with the pills? Oh, God, I don't remember or just when she was and when she wasn't. Okay. Far, she might be doing it all the time. For all I, know. I don't know. She had... I'm not gonna tell all her stories, you know. I'm not gonna tell her, you know. Does she, she able to work? What? Does she ever hold a job? Ask her. Okay. Ask her. I'm not gonna sit here and talk about Nicole any longer. You got her in front of a grand jury. Jesus Christ! I'm ask her all the questions they want. Okay. I was just curious if, if you could tell I'm not me if she had, my side had, of had employment or something Nicole. like that. If she can hold. All job. I can tell you, and this is my st- my statement about Nicole. Mm-hmm. I don't know when she's telling me the truth or when she's not. Okay. And so, and I don't know when she does and when she doesn't do anything because I never know when to believe anything. And I never know when to believe her and when not to. You know what I mean? So I really can't tell you for sure anything about her. I don't even know what goes on but at, at my house when she stays there and when I'm gone and stuff because I'm not there all the whole time. So okay. I don't know what she does. Does she have a car? Uh, no. She's never had a car a day since I've known her. Okay. Does she have a license? Besides. Maybe one you might have heard a story about. Yeah. <laughs> she might have had one for a minute. Okay. <laughs> but uh, she's never had a car. She's never had a, a legitimate car since well, I've Well, police her. officers on that incident, on the report I read, said they had checked the paperwork and they said it was she had bought it. Like, it was in her name. Yeah, she bought it. Yeah, she bought it. So that. It just wasn't. Well, you're saying it wasn't legitimate? It wasn't her money that she uh, bought it with. Yeah, was that the club money? That's what. Oh, no, no. 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 Uh, but, you know, to, to get into that, I would have to start telling stories, and I'm not going to get into telling no story, man. I'm just, I'm sorry. If you want to hear that story, listen to it on the street. You're not going to hear it from me. You know what I mean? You you guys uh, believe what, but, and, and the truth is, I don't really understand the story that you're talking about. What It, it doesn't even have anything to do with, if you guys are hunting for, uh, for about bagger, which I'm sure that's what it is, I mean, fucking, uh, you guys ain't here fucking wanting want to fucking arrest uh, Nicole for stealing something from me. And if you're doing that, then this car story and shit doesn't fucking, what's it even got to do with any fucking thing? It ain't got nothing to do with nothing, so why do you even care? I mean, you're, ta- you're, you're talking about something that ain't got nothing to do with fucking nothing in the first place or any story. Well, the story is interesting because we were told it was all tied together. It all stemmed from the same thing. And if we're wrong, it is the time to correct us. So <laughs> we only have how could it, tell me how they can be connected, what's connected with what? Maybe you can explain it to me because I don't even know what you're talking about. How in the hell could if uh, if Nicole if Nicole did something? Let's say she took my money and went and bought shit with it. Okay, okay. let's just say that happened. Hypothetically, you know? right? Hypothetically, let's sure. just say she she was cleaning and she happened to find my money mm-hmm. and she went and bought shit with it like a thief and, and hid like a thief in the night. Okay, okay? like she's let's probably just, done before. Let's just no, you know, like she probably, but let's just say she did that. Okay. She did that. What the fuck does that have to do? How could it tie in with any? What are you talking about? Tie in with anything? What are you talking about? What does it have to do with the fucking uh, FedEx man or anything? FedEx man didn't wasn't there <laughs> when she took my money. Okay, and then I'm confused. Yeah, you sure are, man. You sure are because that was a long period apart. You're talking about 
I mean, there's been a million incidents, but okay. the two incidents that you're bringing up weren't even related. They're, and they were so long how far ways apart are they? Months. You say a long ways, months. Okay, yeah, months apart or something. Okay. I don't remember. In any case, you're, uh, I don't know. I guess all the stories that you're putting together, that I don't see how they relate to each other. Okay. In any way, as far as well, I well we had heard that, that Bagger was part of the thing that happened that the, when the FedEx guy showed up. That's what we heard. Nicole's going to have to tell you that story. Like I said, the best what you're doing the best thing that you can, and that's. Get Nicole up there, you know what I mean, mm-hmm. to tell the story because uh, hopefully today she's telling you guys exactly what's going on. And she probably should be if she realizes how serious of shit her mouth can can cause. Hopefully she's straight and she's telling you whatever. whatever did it is. did she tell you that Bagger was one of the people who came and tied her up? I'm not going to answer any any more questions for you. Okay. At all, or just about that incident? Um, I think. I think that, I, man, I, the truth is, if you, I think I'll just not answer any more at all and, and have you guys arrest me so I can see what the hell am I, I'm under arrest for if you're not going to tell me. Because <laughs> I don't want to know where I fit in. <laughs> you know, I'm, I hear what you're barking at and stuff, and I don't really understand some of the stuff, why in the hell you even care about it, because I'm not going to press no charges on anybody, so I don't even know why you guys even give a shit. But I am interested in what the hell I'm going to get arrested for, so arrest me for it so we can go from there. Okay. Well, Scott and I are going to arrest you for anything right now. What we're asking, what we're asking well, is some I, background. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, I'm just still confused okay. at why. I've, if you're asking I mean, why my a couple hands Oregon went officers, asleep, they crashed that so hard yeah, that my hands fell asleep. I couldn't even feel them. In there. I've never. Mm-hmm. I've been handcuffed plenty of times in my life. Mm-hmm. I've never been handcuffed that hard before. So I'm trying to figure out why I'm getting treated like this. Mm-hmm. I mean, I understand. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm assuming that they handcuffed you because they're probably you know, worried between about your affiliation. Me, between me and a lawyer, just so you know, I know some of the stories you're talking. I've heard, I know some of this, these stories, and I know what she said, and I know I know all of her stories. And when I say all of her stories, because I'm saying it's going to be really interesting seeing what story she actually tells today. Hopefully, she'll tell a true one. Whatever she tells in front of the cops today, hopefully that'll be a true story. You know what I mean? Because she tells a lot of bullshit ones. Maybe sure. I'll even be able to separate separate okay. out what really happened back then. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If she was going to tell the truth today. What might she say? <laughs> Really? Really? Do you really think I'm going to sit here and tell I just got done telling you. I'm not going to tell a story. Do you think that was a good method of trying to get me to tell this story? I just told you, get it from her, man. I ain't the one that's going to. And the truth is, and, and the stories that we're talking about, I think you're going to find out in the end, they got nothing to fucking do with anything you guys even give a shit about. I mean, you really got some stuff confused. And, and I do say again, and, and I, I really, as far, oh, this is on personal. Because I'm not going to help, help you with your case. You're, you're the cops. You do it yourself. You figure it out yourself. But on a personal note, if you guys think that I'm involved in anything, either from the from bagger to fucking the thefts, the, any of that, if you think uh, there's any bad on my part, give me a lie detector test. Check it out because I don't want you guys wasting your fucking time running around looking at me when you're, you're wasting your time completely. You know, make sure you're right, you're, you're right about this stuff. You know what I mean? Don't waste your time barking up the wrong tree. I don't want to waste your time. I'm not going to sit here and be the, the rat and tell you all kinds of stories about everybody I know and who people's names and who I know. It's just not going to happen. But what I would do is if you guys, any time during this stuff, think that I did bad, I'm, I'm telling you, man, give me a lie detector test, man. Well, find out for sure. I submit to one. I got no lies in me. I, I don't. I, I may not be willing to tell you a bunch of stories, but I didn't. I've got done no bad. So I would take a lie detector test, man. We, and that's the best I can do for you because the, the only thing I can think of that ain't telling stories. And in that lie detector test, I won't answer no questions. Okay. You know what I mean? I, I, I'm just. I just will. You could ask me, if, did I do any bad? And I'm going to say no. And I'll ask it's a polygraph, I'm, probably well, a little bit more specific. Yeah, well, whatever. I'm, I meant in general too. If you guys are interested in that, you can find out whether you've even got a, one of the a, a right fucking person to talk to. You know, okay. what I mean? because so, uh, let me ask you this now: Did her story change to you from the first time she told you? About what happened the day the FedEx guy was there to a later event. Did she change her story? Did her evolve? stories change the plan several right. times, yes. What's the first thing she told I'm you? not going to go to it, man. You can try, but I'm not going to sit here and start telling you details about stories. And why would you need me to? I'm telling you. Well, if it affects her credibility. Well, check it out. Okay. Her credibility isn't going to go very far today anyway. Okay. But number one, because... 
<laughs> she's all full of bullshit that they're going to probably sniff it out in the first. Okay. Uh, I can't imagine. I would love to see this. I would just love to see that her talking to, I don't even know what a grand jury looks like or whatever, if it's a few people or a bunch of people or what we're talking about. But I would sure like to see her in there trying to get all her stories to match up and stuff because it's going to, I just, I can't imagine it not being just a complete. Uh, okay. Incredible farce. Well, how did it change from the from when she first well, gave her act about Well, listen, you're missing it. Not, if she's in there now, you should okay. be in there listening. But that wouldn't tell me how it changed from what she told you first. And I'm not going to tell you how it changed from okay. one thing to another. I'm not telling. I'm not telling the stories on on people, man. All okay. I'm doing is trying to defend myself. But, but you're the only one who can tell us what she told you, right? Well, well that's, that's true. Asking. That's true. And and like I said, if uh, if if I get arrested for fucking. Domestic? I, and that's what I really thought until they held me towards, brought me towards uh, Portland. I thought that they had decided to press a domestic charge on me because Nicole tries to try to kind of plead to the police like if I'm a bully or something like that okay. sometimes. And then she plays then a she's, card. Oh, yeah, the cops all know. And, she's, she, and then she'll admit it to them, too. Mm -hmm. She'll tell them this completely different later. She'll go, no, I lied. Blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. She's completely <laughs> lost in her stories. So, and, and I, and, I'm not trying to apologize to you guys, but I will, since she's my friend, I'll apologize for Nicole because I'm telling you what, you're going to find today that she's a storytelling person and then she has to live that way all day, all the time. I say to her, Nicole, why can't you just live a normal life and be truthful? But mm -hmm. she, she's, and I knew sooner or later all her bullshit would tie her all up and catch her up in this. And today, hopefully, she's fucking in there. Uh, I knew sooner or later. I mean, she's, like I said, she's, She's done some, some kind of low things. I mean, I know you guys would probably look at me like the other cops do, like, you're crazy for even even talking to her anymore. And it is crazy. It really is to me. But I think something inside me says that the drugs make her do it, you know. And, and, and some for some reason, I, I think she's so driven by the drugs that it makes her do the, the most incredible stuff. Maybe if she was clean, she'd be a different person. A whole different person. Yeah, it's. I blame it really. I blame it all on the addiction and and uh, uh, like I said, uh, uh, her stories have have obviously now all got her in some kind of hot water too, which I'd already heard was gonna. I already knew was gonna happen. You know what I mean? I've heard a bunch of stuff about, about Nicole uh, telling all these stories. I know all the stories and stuff like that. I'm just not gonna sit here and discuss them with you. Okay. Would you tell me at least the first thing she told you when you got home that day? No, no, no I won't. Okay. No, you have to get that from her. Okay. Uh, get, and and the. So even though you're the only one who could tell us what she told you. Well. We wouldn't know what she told you different or said, said different. Not really, us. because first she had the FedEx man call me. Okay. So, I, so it wouldn't be her; it would be the FedEx man. But I, but he can tell you too. So mm -hmm. it's not nothing. I have anything to say about it. I'm not going to tell the story. Okay. I'm not going to be the man who talk, who's talking about that, those kind of stories. You're going to have to get them from them. And if you don't get the right story, I'm sorry. But the truth is, who gives a fuck? Because there's, not, no, there's no big crime involved with any of this. You know? So what do you guys even care? I'm not pressing no charges. On it. I'm the one that lost out, not anybody else. Sure. I'm the one that should be mad. Well, I'm the one that had a lawyer try to talk me into pressing charges. And I told him I'm not that guy. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to sell out for any amount of money. Just could, even if it's a, even if she did me wrong big time, I'm not going to sell out on it. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm, I, I, I hear what you're saying, but you're also the only one who can help us correct the credibility issues yeah. that you say. Well, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to find another cop to do that. What I will do is, like I said, if you guys any time think that I did bad personally to where I'm going to get any more of this kind of treatment, I'd be willing to talk about a lie detector test so you guys can know whether you're dealing with a lying fucker or not because I don't like liars and I'm not a liar and you would see that uh, with any kind of uh, lie detector test and, and that's about all I can offer you and even, well, just, just even that lie detector test lie there's some questions that I wouldn't but we, I'm not going to get into a bunch of stories a lie detector so. test is usually used to confirm or deny a story but you haven't given us one we don't just take somebody into a lie detector Lie detector test, unless you've given us a story. Well, we don't, you like know, I said, if you guys have a story that you think that I did bad in, and you want to ask me that over a lie detector test, well, so we I would ask it first, first, which is what we're trying to do, but we're not going yeah, to. You, you don't just go into a lie detector test, it doesn't work. Oh, well, I don't know anything. I'm just saying. You I'm just trying to. Story look, I don't care. I don't, I don't need to take a lie detector test. I don't want to take a lie detector test anyway. I was just offering that to you guys. So you didn't. if you guys are wasting your time like right now, Barking up somebody, the tree of somebody who's done no wrong, 
then maybe somebody should help you not waste your time doing that. Because right now, you can do, what, say, do whatever you want, but, man, dude, I didn't fucking do anything. Yeah, I ain't got nothing to do with fucking Bobby Bagger's murder, if that's what you're talking about. Well, you believe me, it's on the, we know what, on the street. We, we heard the, that the guy got fucking murdered. Everybody knows it. If you think that I had something to do with any kind of thefts, or even had anything to do with the guy that you're showing right there, uh, uh, and the, the car thing and stuff that day, man, you're just wrong, man. You got the, you're barking up the wrong tree. You got your stories all confused and shit. I'm sorry that's, that's that way for you, but you definitely got some stories all mixed together that don't have to do with each other. And hopefully Nicole will straighten you guys out on that today because it sounds like they're her stories. Has Bagger ever been to your house? Her stories, her scams. See now, you're, see. I think that I think whether he has or not ever been to my house mm-hmm. probably isn't going to really help you too much. So I think information like that I can wait for to tell my lawyer and have my lawyer tell you whether or not anybody's ever been over to my house and stuff before. I think that'd be in my better interest. Okay. Well, if Nicole says she has. Is she telling us a fib or is she telling us the truth? <laughs> well, I, I'm not Nicole gonna, and I don't. Put, you, you know, but maybe put her on a lie detector test. And watch this happen. Watch this. Watch that machine smoke. <laughs> Put her on a lie detector test. Find out from her. But it's just not going to be from me, man. Get it from that guy. I can't remember what you said his name was. Jeff Sudan. Jeff Sudan. Get the story from Jeff Sudan, man. And, 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 you know, and when it's all done, then tell me what the hell, you know, tell me what you even, why did I get handcuffed today? Why did I get treated like this, man? I ain't gotten, you know, I didn't do anything wrong. I think you got treated, I think you got handcuffed because of your associates. This is, I mean, I well, think that's, that's man, basically what it is, right? You'd be under arrest when you did that, you know what I mean? I'm a pretty easy to go on guy, you know, and all anybody had to do is call me on the phone and say, hey, Mark, some detectives want to talk to you here in the Portland. Would you have any problem coming in? I'd have came in and sat here just like I am today, just so you know. What do you think I'd do? What, go, <laughs> well, I don't know you. I don't know what you do. You know? <laughs> okay. well, hang around with a certain, certain group of people and sometimes stories get Yeah, yeah I know. And, and you guys have your stereotypes about certain groups of people. I do know that. And we do too. So. Yeah, I think it's, it's common anytime two We've groups don't one, understand each other, right? So I mean, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So can you clarify anything for us about Bagger Bob? Um. Let me think if I even want it. You know, any stories that I tell at all about that guy, mm-hmm. they dip into club business. They, it's club stuff. And I'm not going to go club stuff with you guys for nothing. That's just, okay. it's against my fucking rules and it ain't going to happen. Okay. You know, even when he was out of the club? Um, one, I will say one thing. One, uh, once that dude came out of the club, when I was out of the club, mm-hmm. I've never seen him or know anything about him since except for small little stories about people running into him and him flipping him off and driving off and little shit like that. Mm-hmm. Sightings, I guess you could call it. Okay. Other than that, I've never seen him, never heard nothing about him, except that he went full junkie. But uh, the truth is the junkie shit, getting mm-hmm. caught being a junkie is what got him kicked out of the club. Okay. So, uh, is he a needle user or a smoker? Or? Yeah. Um, you know, really, I don't know what he did. Mm-hmm. It's in tinfoil, you know, so do you okay. mix that and shoot it with a needle or do you smoke it? I really don't know. I don't, much know, much about no okay. I don't know much about heroin. I just know that it's some things are completely against our fucking rules. Sure. And that was one of them. If we would you, have the same rules. If you touch heroin or, or many other drugs around us, then we find out about it, you're out. Okay. And that's what happened to him. And I've never, and I don't know anything about him since then, except for hearing just on the street what a piece of shit he was. Mm-hmm. He turned into a real. We thought he was maybe a piece of shit when we had him. Well, he turned into a lot worse piece of shit. When did he leave the club? Man, uh, let me try to think if it was. I'm gonna say probably hasn't been too much over two years from now. Yeah, yeah two years ago. Probably wasn't too much over two years ago, but it could have been three. Time flies by pretty fast in my older age. I guess it could have been three years ago now. It's been a while. It's been a while. A lot, of, a lot more people were alive back then when he left than now. We've had a lot of deaths in our club lately. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but uh, in any case, he's been out for a few years. He, he was a good friend of mine once. Was he? Yeah, he really was a good friend of mine once. And, and then in the end, I found out that he was just a lying piece of shit is what he really was. So. It didn't hurt much. Was that was too much. Thing? It was the heroin and lying and stealing and everything else, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't think that it's uh, uh, that big a deal to tell you guys that he 
he stole from the club. And then uh, when he got caught for it, he blamed it all on heroin, which was an automatic kick out for him. So right. it's not like we found out about the heroin. We found out about the stealing. Yeah. And when we jumped about the stealing, he blamed it all on heroin. That's what happened. And he got kicked out of the club like anybody would. Mm -hmm. Some people come to us and admit they, they smoked heroin or, or, or uh, smoked meth or, or uh, smoked coke. You know what I mean? And uh, we, we have to kick them out whether they're coming to uh, Sometimes I wonder why they come and tell us. Right. You know, I mean, mm -hmm. and then some guys we kick them out, and then we hear they quit. They should have quit before we kicked them out. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make any sense to me. But we do have our stand, and some things will get you kicked right out of the club. And stealing is one of them, and heroin is definitely another one. So, sure, well, that makes sense. Yeah, uh, similar rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, anyway, like I said, where his life went after that, I don't know. I heard where it ended up, mm -hmm. which doesn't surprise me much. You know, I'm just knowing. Knowing Bagger, you know, and listening to the stories you used to tell, which I'm not telling you from back in the club, mm -hmm. it didn't surprise me much because okay. I guess he was a bigger piece of shit than me. We couldn't even pull him out of his out of his piece of shitness. <laughs> That's okay. the way I look at it. Because if you if you think I have a bad attitude towards him, it's true. I don't have a good attitude towards anybody who ever steals from a motorcycle club. You know what I mean? He got a kicked out. He deserved it, and I'm glad he did. Well, did he piss a lot of people off? I mean, did he have people that he pissed off outside the club? Uh, I, you know, I don't even know that he knew anybody outside the club back then. I don't know that he ever brought friends around, or I don't remember him ever really having friends. I don't think that, I think he was doing drugs. I really believe in my heart, but I don't know this, that he was doing drugs when he was with us for a lot longer than I, than I don't think he just had started there when, when at the end there. Yeah. And uh, I think that, uh, I think that he was probably doing drugs a lot longer, and he probably has a bunch of friends, but he probably didn't talk to us about them because they're probably drug friends or something. Right. But I'm only speculating, man. I don't. I really don't know anything about him. I only know about active members. So you didn't hear anything on the street that there was, he had enemies? No. no. Nothing. No, the only per people I ever heard uh, say anything about him was people that said, man, you know, I seen him at a stop sign or something and he saw me and he went like this and tore out. And that's the only story that I ever remember hearing about him, period, after he left the club. I don't think I even ever heard any other any story about any, even any other sightings. I don't think I knew anybody that saw him. I didn't even know for sure if he still lived around here for sure until I heard that somebody saw him over by a bar or driving by the Mystic or something like that and flipped him off. It's the story I ever heard about. Where had he been living when he was a club member? Was it in Portland or was it somewhere else? You know, uh, he's he uh, different places, girls and wives and stuff. You know, he lived with a wife and then he lived with a girlfriend and. Towards the end there, yeah, I never ever went. I've never, we were never like such close friends that I went to his house or anything. Okay. So I, I don't know, have any idea where they ever left, lived or anything. I can't remember if it was Washington, Oregon, or where the hell he lived with girlfriends. Mm -hmm. He had a house somewhere. I think he was married once and had a house somewhere or something, like and an ex-wife or something. I, I actually, when he first started coming around the club, uh, he think he he was still married or something because I think that was the girl that he used to bring to some of our parties years ago. I think that was his wife, and then I think. They divorced somewhere along the way or something. I really don't know. Do you I know he had girlfriends after that, so I'm sure, sure. his wife split up. Do you remember her name, the wife? I don't know. I Man, I don't know. Andy, the girl, any old lady. I don't know most of the fellows' names. You know, uh, okay. they're not a gypsy joker. And and most of the gypsy jokers, I don't know their last names. It happens all the time. People say, you know, so-and-so, and they know. And they like, you just showed me that picture. Could have been one of my brothers mm -hmm. because we don't call each other by our last Is names. Is that intentional, just kind of? It's just, no, it's just, it doesn't come up for any reason. For some reason, we don't have the conversation um, unless you happen to, you know, uh, a guy gets in trouble and you see his name in the paper or something like that. You go, oh, and it happens all the time where we go, that's what your last name is, <laughs> and we'll make fun of it, you know, because never thought that would be even their first name. Some guys come around with with uh, uh, road names or handles or whatever you want to call it. So when I even hear their whole name, their first name, it blows my mind sometimes because you expect them to be a a rough first name, and they right. just find out it's Vernon or somebody, you know. <laughs> oh, if you're Vernon, your name's Vernon, excuse me. But in any case, uh, uh, so anyway, that's the story about names. Okay. Well, but no, I've uh, never heard anything about him after he left the club okay. until I until I heard about him getting killed and shit. Do you know what kind of, what he was driving, besides a bike, when he was a club member? So, I don't remember any uh, car or anything. 
think if he had anything, it would probably be a girlfriend's vehicle or something, maybe. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't remember any of that. What kind of bike did he ride? I'm done with stories. I'm done with stories. You're just dig- digging for too many. I mean, you guys can find all this stuff out. You don't need me. Jesus, you're investigators. You don't need me to find out the simple questions, man. You're, if you're just trying to get me to start talking, man, I am, man. I, you know, I'm telling you a little bit of stuff, but I'm not going to tell you anything that's going to... I'm really not going to help you guys out on this case. If that's what I'm here for, is to try to help you out, I'm not. I'm really not. You're going to have to do it on your own, man. Uh, I'm not going to tell stories about the club and well, this and that. And, and why, uh, you know, the, I'm telling you, I've already told you the common stuff. This is what pretty much everybody knows. It ain't hard for you guys to find out that the fucking guy got kicked out of our motorcycle club. Sure. That is not hard what, to find what, out. What's the last time you were actually eyes on with Bagger? Was he a club member then, or was yeah. it after? Did he have uh, to flip you off uh, and some stuff? Well, at the same time, he was going. I saw him when he was going out. Okay. I saw him. Go, he was and wasn't at the same time. Okay. <laughs> the last time I saw him. That's the last time he was until we told him to get the fuck out of here, and then he wasn't. So I saw him. He was and wasn't that same day, and that's the last time I've ever seen him. Okay. Um, did he ever come by and, and vandalize anything of yours? No. Okay. Hell no. Hell no. Bagger? Uh, well, is he a cheap shot guy or is he someone? And who, I, you know, I really don't know. And I, like I said, I'm not going to answer questions about okay. Bagger. Okay. But he never, he never did anything to you? No. Okay. You never went eyes on with him again after that when he was he, out of the club? He, uh, he respected me, I think. And, okay. and, he, and he talked very nice to me any time I ever saw him. I'll okay. tell you that he never, me and him never had a bad word. In the end, I found out he was a piece of shit junkie. Right. So I, I, I admit I hold that against him because I spent a lot of time with the guy and stuff and kind of gave him my heart, sort of like, you know. And, and uh, so when people just dis- really disgrace us like that and stuff, it leaves a real bad taste in my mouth. I will admit that. Mm-hmm. But that's the end of it. When you're done with us, you're just done. So if anything that happened too much of that, I have no idea. Mm-hmm. Like I said, one thing about our motorcycle club is when you're done with us, you're just done with us. We got no time for you. We got no words for you. You won't be getting any more calls. Okay. Nothing. You know what I mean? You're done. And it's he's a bagger, just one of a lot of guys that the same kind of shit happens to. It's it's part of the life. Okay. Do you know who you rode with before? He was one of your guys, or? Well, I don't think anybody. If he did, it was, oh. it's news to me. Okay. Is he from our area? I mean, I is, is he from Portland, Washington? I don't know that either. I don't know where he's from. You know what I mean? Okay. But you know, like all that stuff, I don't know why you're asking me these questions. You know? I thought you, you were guys kind of are sure. With him well, I was, but you guys know Caleb and stuff. You know what I mean? You know his son. I know his son. Caleb could probably give you all those answers. Okay. I'm, I'm sure you guys have went and talked. Oh, well, I'm you sure should. someone has. Maybe you should, and, and, and maybe his ex-girlfriends and stuff. Man, you can get all this information for them. I'm sure. I'm sure he sat there and told it. Don't ask me for it. That's all I'm asking. It's simple information that you guys can get from a whole lot of people. I don't want to be the one. Okay. Well, I clarified what I wanted to know, and that was whether or not you'd got eyes on with him after he left the club. I've never seen him. And he never vandalized no. anything of yours? Never. Year I've never seen him for a second. Okay. Never seen him for a second. Okay. Hey, do you mind if we take a break? you want to put water or anything? Now I would. Yeah. No, so we'll no, get no, you some water. We're going to take a break for a second, and then we'll come back in and okay. figure out what's going to happen, okay? Okay. All okay. Right. I got the time at 10.43. I'm going to take a break for a sec. Right. Just hang tight. All right. All right.
that was rude.
So a few times you've, you know, mentioned maybe a lawyer, maybe not. Before we go, we obviously have, we'd like to talk to you further, but we just want to make sure, I mean, it's your choice. If you want a lawyer, that's fine. We'll stop communicating here. If you don't want a lawyer, you can keep talking. And obviously, as the right oh, explains to Then I must be going to get arrested, or you wouldn't have me call a lawyer in here. Then definitely I want a lawyer. If I'm going to get arrested, I want a lawyer, yeah. So I don't know what your charges are going to be. That's being determined. Okay. Um, there's, in addition to Nicole, there's several people that have, are in front of the grand jury last week and today, this For, week. Partner, just case or ah, or ah, I didn't do anything wrong, so I'm not really too worried about anything that anybody could say in front of a grand jury. So I they ain't going to fucking reflect on me, and I don't even care who put people are there. I know what I do throughout my life, so... There's nothing that's gonna that I'm <laughs> that's gonna come bad on me. I don't know what kind of stuff you're gonna get out of the, in the grand jury today, but I'm pretty sure that in hours from now you're gonna see that it's not pointing at me. You're you're barking up the wrong tree. So if I'm under arrest for something, then yeah, let me call a lawyer. Okay. Okay. So like I said, I don't know what your charges are gonna be. That's being determined. Yeah, man. So if there's gonna be charges, so you guys are. So I just have to sit here now. And I'm gonna wait for you guys to decide what my charges are gonna be. What a bunch of crap, man. Why didn't you figure that out before you came and got me if you're going to charge me with something? This is, I mean, <laughs> it's pretty, pretty rude treatment for somebody who isn't charged with anything yet. Well, part of it was determined on, on what you were able to tell us or willing to tell us. Yeah, Because yeah, well, you're the only one who can talk yourself out of the hole you're in. Oh, hole? Yeah. I'm not in a hole, man. Well, I mean, you guys may think I'm in a hole, but I know I'm not in a hole because have you done anything that you should be arrested for lately? I know I haven't. And okay. so you're probably not too worried about getting arrested yourself. I, you may get, I may get arrested. Who knows? I don't know what you guys are, might try to arrest me for. I have no idea what time we'll see on that. It depends on what kind of stories you hear from, <laughs> from junkies or whatever you've got in front of a grand jury today. But in any case, as soon as I need a lawyer, let me know, cause I'll, and I'll call one. You know? But if, if I'm not under arrest yet for anything, I really don't want to bother a lawyer. Until you guys, as I said, you're, detained, you're, under you're under not free to leave. You can't leave. Okay, okay. okay. Charges are being figured out right now. All right. In that case, be, there's going to be charges. So that's okay. Then in that case, I have nothing else to say, and let me know when I need a lawyer. No problem. Thank you for okay. for making me realize that. In that case, I have nothing, absolutely nothing to say, and let me know okay. when I need a lawyer. Okay. All right. So so just go ahead and hang tight here, and okay. they'll, they'll probably move you back. Down to the hole and sell down there. Oh, man. And, yeah. That stuff place is pretty, pretty boring in there, man. Can they At least you haven't spent the night there yet. Well, evidently <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tonight. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Mark. Appreciate your at least chat with me. Yeah, All right. right. No okay. worries. I'm going to leave friends no matter what. <laughs> Same thing. Yes. I'll walk you back down. Okay. You got to use your restroom when it's in yet, or? Can I take this with me? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, no, but no, not yet.